super dense coding is a simple application of elementary quantum mechanics. It involves two parties named Alice and Bob who are far away from one another and their goal is to transmit some classical information from Alice to Bob. Initially, Alice and Bob both share one half of a bell state given by 00 plus 11 by root 2 and Alice can use super dense coding to transmit two classical bits of information to Bob using only a single qubit. So now let's see how Alice and Bob achieve this task using this quantum circuit. So initially we have two 00 pure state with which we prepare a bell state. Therefore psi1 will be equal to the tensor product of these two pure state that is 00 and operating psi1 with Hadamard and C0 gate, we get the bell state. Therefore, psi2 will be equal to C0 of Hadamard operating on the first qubit that is 0 into tensor product of 0. So, this gives us C0 Hadamard gate operating on the 0 state gives us 0 plus 1 by root 2 into this 0 state. So, by taking the tensor product, we'll have C0 operating on 0 0 plus 1 0 divided by root 2. So we know the first qubit of C0 gate is the control qubit and the second qubit is the target qubit. So when C0 operates on this state, since the first qubit is 0, the target qubit is left alone. So we will have psi2 equal to 0 0 plus now here the control qubit is 1. So the target qubit will be flipped. So it will be 1 1 and divided by root 2. Hence we prepared the bell state 0 0 plus 1 1 by root 2. Now this state psi 2 which is a bell state is shared by Alice and Bob where both get 1 1 qubit and this state is entangled. Now Alice has to send two classical bits to Bob. So if she wishes to send 0 0 as the two classical bit she has to operate her single qubit with the identity operator which does nothing to the qubit if she wishes to send 0 1 then she need to operate the x gate on her qubit if she wishes to send 1 0 then she has to operate the z gate on her qubit and similarly if she has to send 1 1 classical bits then she has to operate first the z gate and then the x gate on her single qubit that means for sending 0 0 classical information she will operate the identity operator or gate which does nothing to our qubit that is a psi 2 state so the resultant state sent to bob when i is operated on psi 2 will be psi 3 as you can see from this circuit equal to 0 0 plus 1 1 by root 2 similarly if she has to send 0 1 then she will operate x gate on psi 2 which implies psi 3 will be now when x operates on psi 2 it is operating on the first bit of psi 2 that means when x operates on psi 2 it would be x operating on 0 0 plus x operating on 1 1 divided by root 2 which would be when x operates on 0 it flips it to 1 so we will have 1 and this 0 plus when x operates on 1 it flips it to 0 so it would be 0 and this would be 1 divided by root so psi 3 would be 1 0 plus 0 1 by root 2 similarly if she has to send 1 0 then she will operate z gate on our psi 2 state so z operating on psi 2 would be equal to z operating on the first bit into 0 plus z operating on 1 into 1 these are the tensor product divided by root 2 which would be when z operates on 0 it does nothing to the state so it would be 0 0 minus when z operates on 1 it changes its phase so it would be minus 1 so it would be minus of 1 1 by root 2 so in this case psi 3 would be 
0 0 minus 1 1 by root 2 and in the fourth case if she wants to stand 1 1 so she will operate z gate on psi 3 followed by x gate so we know when this would be psi 2 so when z operates on psi 2 we already have the resultant state so this would be when x operating on 0 0 minus 1 1 by root 2 so again when x operates on 0 it flips it to 1 so we'll have 1 0 and when x operates on 1 it flips it to 0 so minus 0 1 by root 2 for the fourth case psi 3 would be 1 0 minus 0 1 by root now Alice has done her part now with the second qubit that Bob has he will perform some operation and measure the two bits so first of all what operation Bob will perform he will perform C naught operation followed by the Hadamard gate operated on the first qubit of the psi 3 state so let's see what are the results of these operations so in the first case when the classical bits that were supposed to send by Alice was 0 0 our psi 3 state is 0 0 plus 1 1 by root 2 so when C naught operates on 0 0 plus 1 1 by root 2 followed by Hadamard gate we will have psi 4 equal to h now c0 operating on 0 0 would be 0 0 plus c0 operating on 0 1 would be since the control qubit is 1 the target qubit would be 0 divided by root 2 now Hadamard gate is operated on the first qubit which would be h operating on 0 into 0 plus h operating on 1 into 0 divided by root 2 so if I take 1 by root 2 common we'll have h operating on 0 gives us 0 plus 1 by root 2 into 0 plus h operating on 1 gives us 0 minus 1 by root 2 into 0 so this would be if I take root 2 common this would be 1 by 2 into 0 0 plus 1 0 plus 0 0 minus 1 0 so this 1 0 this 1 0 is cancelled and 0 0 will be 2 times 0 0 this 2 and this gets cancelled and finally we will have psi 4 equal to 0 0 so when Bob operates psi 3 for the first case he gets psi 4 equal to 0 0 and if a measurement is done on psi 4 we will get 2 bits as 0 and 0 by this operation Alice has successfully sent two classical bits that is 0 0 by doing some operations on her single qubit followed by some operation done by Bob with his qubit finally two classical bits has been sent so similarly for the second case psi 4 would be when operated by H and C naught gate on psi 3 for this condition we will get psi 4 equal to 0 1 which upon measurement will get two classical bits of 0 and 1 and in the same manner for the third case we will get psi 4 equal to 1 0 and psi 4 equal to 1 1 which upon measurement will get 1 0 and 1 1 classical bits so this was in essence the protocol for super dense coding with which Alice interacting with only a single qubit is able to transmit two bit of information to Bob here you may get confused that two qubits were involved in the protocol but remember Alice had only one qubit of the entangled state it may look like we are working on with two qubits from Alice end but in reality it is only the one qubit out of the two that has been operated so I hope you understood the simple protocol of super dense coding